Hi guys, this is Pete, N6QW, and I'm demonstrating here one of our latest projects. This is a joint effort between myself, N6QW, and uh, Ben Kuo, KK6FUT. And we are undertaking a uh, project series uh, entitled Let's Build Something. And the first phase of this is to build a direct conversion receiver which uh, will then be subsequently form the foundation of a complete single sideband transceiver. Uh, there are about a few components in this uh, what we call part one series. Essentially what we have right here is a homebrew double balance mixer. Uh, has uh, four uh, 1N914s and a couple of ferrite core transformers. We have uh, a very healthy audio amplifier stage right here, right here, I'll show you that, right here, and it's a quasi-complementary circuit and uh, really quite good. has a little preamp circuit with a 2N3904 and, and a uh, PMP-NPN uh, transistors in the output. Uh, what we're using for a local oscillator is we've pressed into service a, uh, a VFO that came out of a single sideband uh, transceiver, uh, homebrew, and uh, normally operated in around 5 megahertz, and we moved the frequency up to, uh, to uh, 7 megahertz since this is a direct conversion receiver. And direct conversion essentially is, is that there's uh, no IF. You essentially supply a local oscillator which, uh, signal which is detected in the double balance mixer here. And essentially that detection is at the operating frequency and the only difference being the audio tone. So uh, to enable us to tune slowly, because uh, this has got quite a large capacitor, there's a little varactor diode in there that I'm uh, biasing with this pot. So we're able to tune around sort of like a band spread. So that's four diodes, a couple of ferrite transformers, an audio amplifier stage. A, uh, this happens to be a MOSFET VFO that is normally tuned with a variable capacitor. And I'm tuning it with a Varactor tuner to slow down the tuning rate. We do have, um, from the antenna tuner, uh, that's a uh, sort of peaked up our antenna, which is a 20 meter extended double depth, uh, peaked it on 40 meters. I do have a single stage of RF amplification, which is right here. This is a uh, pretty healthy, uh, RF, about a 10 dB gain. Although we find that if you operate it full out at 10 dB, uh, the problem that you have is that you overload the double balance mixer. So um, we're kind of surprised with so, such few components, you can have a very workable receiver. And uh, the VFO is relatively stable, so uh, uh, this would make a nice first receiver. And what's really important is uh, our intention in this article is let's build something. Is that so many of the projects today are so complex that the newbie builder gets overwhelmed. Double balance mixer, four diodes, two ferrite core transformers. There's a total of four transistors in the audio amplifier stage here which uh, will produce several watts of audio amplifier audio amplification single transistor rf amplifier uh, ahead of the double balance mixer and uh, the vfo the local oscillator signal also shown here i have operated this uh, from a, uh, a dds and that will ultimately be the application uh, the DDS in the final configuration when we go to the, the single sideband transceiver. But to get you up and running, uh, the intent is to use the uh, a VFO signal. Now you could use a VXO, but that has somewhat of a limited range. So the VFO will tune the whole 40 meter band. And uh, as a matter of fact, the signals are quite strong here. I'm going to move this up to. Uh, that's the the uh, phone portion of the band. And remember, this is dual uh, direct conversion, so you'll copy the other sideband as well. And there's the other sideband.
This is N6QW, and this is our, our first part one of Let's Build Something. Again, double balance mixer here, audio amplifier stage, a, uh, a VFO that acts as a local oscillator, and a single transistor RF amplifier. And uh, kind of amazing, the uh, I've had this actually working on the work with a DDS on 20 meters, and uh, we are here in DX on this. So uh, that, you don't have to have a lot of components to have a very high performance receiver. Now in our final configuration we will include a low pass filter ahead of this and a band pass filter and the reason is uh, uh, stations bleed through uh, because essentially this RF amplifier stage here is amplifying everything uh, coming off the antenna so we do hear a little uh, WWV in the background. Again, this is N6QW, and this is a joint project with KK6FUT called Let's Build Something. And uh, by the way, uh, I, I created just a short video the other day and had it uploaded on YouTube, and that was only to share it with, uh, with a few people that are aware of this project so they could see the results. And I never got so much crap in all my life about shaky videos, and I was making people seasick. So let me tell you. Close your eyes. What we want you to do is listen to the radio. And it's amazing the performance that you're getting with just a couple of components, an audio amplifier, and uh, a double balance mixer, and a, and a local oscillator, and a little RF amplifier stage. So come on, guys. Get a grip. Uh, before you're quick to fire off a missile saying, oh, it's, uh, the quality's not good, the video's shaky. Well, I got the GoPro Hero 3 camera now, so the uh, quality of the video should be a lot better. And uh, by the way, if it bothers you, don't look at it. This is N6QW. Let you listen for that while. Okay, I'm going to end this uh, segment of the video and upload this. This is part one. And I should tell you that the uh, reason that uh, Ben and I uh, wanted to work on this project is we were kind of chagrined that for the newbie builder, uh, there's not a lot out, out there that starts you up with step one. It's uh, like an instant step function. You know, it presumes you have a lot of experience, a lot of parts in the bin, and we tried to make this a low part count, get you started, and we'll progress in a multi-part article so that uh, eventually you'll end up with a single sideband transceiver. Right now we're starting with a direct conversion receiver. And our intent is to utilize many of these uh, circuits in the final configuration. So, um, happy listening. Again, this is N6QW. And uh, this is part one of Let's Build Something.